because they will be looking to maximise revenue at St James's Park. And if the stadium only holds 60,000, where's the revenue coming from? So today we had a report from Luke Edwards in The Telegraph saying that Newcastle had completed a feasibility study into whether St James's Park could be expanded or not. And the good news is it came back that it is feasible to redevelop the stadium, which means in all likelihood Newcastle United are going to be staying where they are. And let's be honest, we all want to stay where we are. Um, but... I think there's a growing opinion that actually St James's Park is not really fit for purpose in terms of going forward and getting this club to be a big Champions League club where we want it to be. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to St James's Park to bring it up to standard because, to be honest, it's not really had any work done to it in like 25 years now. So the study looked at whether St James's Park could be extended and in the report it seems to suggest that a capacity of about 60,000 could be achievable. Now, that leaves quite a few questions because I think for quite a few years a lot of people have realised if we stick another tier on the Gallagher end, that could bring it up to about 60,000. You could probably add about 8,000 seats to that area. So does that mean that there's an issue with the East Stand still that that can't be extended or are we going to be surprised with how they redevelop the stadium the question is is this a refurb with a few extra seats is it going to be like a big rebuild which could see stands closed and redevelop over a period of time in order to completely reconfigure the inside of st james's park now if the east stand is also redeveloped in some way and they can actually build it with a bigger footprint or higher or something like that, then you have to think, why would they build another tier on the Gallagher end and redevelop the East Stand, but the capacity only go up by 8,000? I think what we could be looking at is a massive redevelopment of St. James's Park. Yes, in terms of new extra bits of stands that could be built, maybe even knock the East Stand down completely and rebuild it, but you're still only getting up to 60,000. There's a couple of potential things that could be going on here in my mind. Just to state, no plans have been released at this point and it's unlikely we're gonna see any particular blueprints for anything anytime soon. But a couple of things have occurred to me. Let's imagine they put a new tier on the Gallagher end, for example, and read about the East Stand as well. In theory, we should be looking at more seats than what we are, but ultimately, I think our owners know that the money for revenue is actually in the corporate offering, and I just wonder whether we do see a new East Stand and we do see the Gallagher extended, but I also wonder if that comes at a cost of, yes, extra seats, but also we're talking about massive, massive corporate offering. So a lot more hospitality seats, a lot more boxes, things like that. And if the East Stand was rebuilt, you could imagine that what they would go for is, yes, obviously seats for fans, but they would obviously design that new stand with corporate hospitality in mind and kind of like having boxes at that side of the ground and things like that. It's going to be really, really interesting to see. I just think the owners that we've got we need to think outside of the box about what they would have planned. I think they're going to be, it's not just going to be a case of, oh, just sticking a few more seats on the Gallagher end. It's going to be, how can they remodel? How can they redesign the inside of St. James's Park? The other thing that's clear to me is that the inside of the stadium, like the concourse areas, will get brought up into the 21st century. Because as I said, this stadium hasn't been touched pretty much for 25 years now. And it needs some serious work doing to it because let's be honest it's not the best even the concourse areas yeah they've, they've have been upgraded a little bit since the takeover but they're still not that great and they could be so much better so the east stand has always been the contentious issue with our stadium we know that there's listed buildings behind it and we've always asked the question can anything be done i've mentioned the 60,000 capacity that doesn't seem like it's gonna add loads of seats to St James's Park and is that even enough for Newcastle? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think 60,000 would be a big enough capacity for us? Personally for me I think 60,000 is a little bit on the low side. I'd like to see at least 65 if we could get there. I think that'd be a perfect size for Newcastle. Well let's think about the East Stand. Does it mean that it can't be added to if we're only going to get to 60,000? I'm not sure it does. Like I say I think we could be looking at a full rebuild of the East Stand. I'm absolutely convinced part of the plan will be to knock the East Stand down and completely rebuild it even if they can't make it much bigger I think they'll completely rebuild it because it's such an old piece of architecture it's just it's not really fitting for a 21st century football club who's got ambitions of competing at the very highest level of the game it needs to come up to standard and at the moment it is not it's not <laughs> it's just it's just not a good stand at the moment it could be like I say potentially the east stand gets redeveloped with 
you know, the current amount of seats plus a bit of corporate hospitality, some boxes again in the middle. Not like the boxes that were there in like the 90s and stuff and the 80s when it was built. It, it could be like more modern, sort of a better offering than that. Who knows? It might even be the boxes are higher up or something. I don't know how that will work. I just think, it. I think as fans, we need to just imagine... I, I think we won't be able to imagine what they are thinking of doing with the stadium. I suspect because of the way the club have gone about dealing with uh, ticket prices and, and obviously the, the whole ticketing situation we know hasn't has been probably the one part of the takeover that has just not been good for fans, like the loyalty point system and kind of the the methods they've used to kind of police tickets and all that kind of stuff. And then the, the increases in season ticket prices and, and all that kind of thing. We know that the ticket inside of it is clearly part of their strategy in order to boost revenue. And obviously ticket prices going up quite significantly is part of that. Our owners know that corporate is where the big money is at. So they will want to increase that massively. Does that mean the leasers, the middle of the Gallagher end, the middle of the leasers end, could end up being, you know, season ticket holders being removed from the area in order to accommodate greater corporate offerings as part of a redevelopment. And that would also include redeveloping the back and the inside of the stadiums, like I say, to create new areas that are, that just simply don't exist at the moment if they build the stand out at the back. I think that could be where we're heading here. I really do. And, and I say that really with a heavy heart because I sit in the middle tier of the Gallagher end and that could potentially be redeveloped here. Who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, but it, I don't think anything is off the table with this because they will be looking to maximise revenue at St. James's Park. And if the stadium only holds 60,000, where's the revenue coming from? The revenue is going to come from corporate. It's as simple as that. And then we come to the Milburn stand itself. You know, how will they increase the corporate offering there too? Because I think they will. I think that's what they'll look to do. So it could be that, you know, basically if you're sat in the middle tier of any of the stands, I suspect there's a danger that your seat could become targeted for corporate. And unfortunately, that will have a knock-on effect on atmosphere and things like that. But that is the world we live in. They're, that's the level the club wants to operate at. And that's the sacrifices. Unfortunately, we... we have to make without actually wanting to make them as fans sometimes so it could be that that's that's part of it there is some other ideas that you know there could be other clever things going on like could could they move the pitch slightly so the east stand could have a slightly larger footprint or things like that you know people talked about raising the pitch lowering the pitch i honestly think nothing is off the table um and it's it could uh, lots of things could happen overall though i am really delighted that Newcastle are going to stay at St James's Park. Like I say, I'm not bothered about them. Re I, they could knock down St James's Park and rebuild it for, for all I care, really. What I like is the site and the location. And as long as we're playing our football where we are now, I'm happy with that. I just hope that they come up with something interesting. I, I think it's not just going to be a case of sticking another tier on the on the Gallagher end. I really think it's going to be something beyond that. The back of the Gallagher will, will be significantly built out and I imagine they'll improve the areas around the stadium as well. I think there'll be all that kind of stuff going on. The outside of the stadium will probably look different and, and I, just, I just think that there's all sorts of things that could, could happen. But ultimately really really happy that we're going to be staying at St James's Park and it's going to get redeveloped and you know finally given the facelift it, it desperately desperately needs because it hasn't really been good enough for the last 10-15 years has it it's it's been neglected we know that but really it's starting to look a bit dated and it does need a bit of TLC but it's going to get much more than a bit of TLC it's going to get an absolute makeover and yeah we'll see what happens when the actual plans come out Maybe the capacity could creep up be over 60,000. Time will tell on that one. Hopefully there's, they've got some good good plans there. But I think the real interesting thing is going to be the East Stand. I'm absolutely convinced the East Stand is going to get rebuilt. I really, really believe that as part of it. But I do expect corporate hospitality is going to absolutely explode within St. James's Park for better or for worse.